by the end of this song, uh, if you guys would really just help me out, you guys especially at the bar, if you're drinking, sing this thing, okay? And sing it loud because there's somebody recording this, and you will wind up on the CD and you'll wind up on my website. So sing loud, all right? Oh, by the way, again, this is, this is I write some topical things sometimes, and this is a song that, if it offends anybody, uh, I don't care. <laughs> Everybody's just like got lyrics written down in iPhones and stuff. I did the same thing. Because I finished the third verse at that table. <laughs> Glenn Beck scares me. How about you? They say the man's a movement. And in a way, that's true. But a lot of silly are swept in it, but you better wipe your shoes if you stepped in it, cause it scares me, when that scares me, he scares me through and through, but for completely different reasons than he intends to do, it's not that he exploits insecurity, it's not his idiotic ideology, it's the very fact the clown is even on TV. That scares me. And that scares me. Because his show's a hit. But if you've ever seen him, you know he's full of the most ridiculous ideas. At first I didn't even know that he was on. But a bolt on the tube that should make you yawn has become the next conservative phenomenon. And that scares me. When that scares me, it's one of life's big shocks. A man with his perspective has found a home on Fox. He thinks that everything Obama says is jive. He's just about the dimmest man alive. Either that or it's, and it's 1955. And that scares me. Among the best fear mongers, he sure knows how to mong. <laughs> you might think the man is harmless, but you should be warned. He wants to see the nation and the world transformed by rallying the angry and the ill informed. And that scares me. Alright, Glenn Beck scares me. Everybody? Glenn Beck scares me. How about you? How about you? They say the man's a movement. They say the man's a Sneakers if you've stepped in it, harmony, and it scares me.